All right, today we're going to do a video on another toy I picked up. Uh, RM, or sometime RMI. I stands for Italy. Uh, model KLV1000P. Uh, four tube uh, linear amplifier. This one has four uh, 6GK6s in the final only, no driver tube. The uh, Model 1000, KLV 1000 without the P has one drive in four. Uh, has one 6GK6 or otherwise I think it's EL 519 tube uh, drive in four. With this one it needs a driver. There are a lot of things I like about this amplifier. There are some things I don't. One is it has a uh, built-in SWR meter. You set it like you do any other uh, SWR meter. Put it on uh, direct and adjust it and then put it on reflect. It has a very nice preamp in it. And it has a somewhat accurate watt meter in it. And it's got a nice on-the-air light. Tuned input and a standard pi output. Uh, one thing I didn't like about this amp was to paint the cases painted and they use a lot of ground studs you know to the case and you can't get good ground connections through the paint and that's a huge problem with this amp is bad ground connections so what I did is on all the uh, screws and ground connections I uh, scraped off the paint and so now I get a very good ground connection and I actually added a few grounds on the um, on the uh, Pi outputs and inputs and you can see the paint scraped off there but um, all the ground connections has the paint scraped off on this one and the screws tightened down real good with a star washer and uh, no more glitches and mess ups and also the uh, load capacitor there that big one to the left that used to be a small one like these other two here and it had arced out causing uh, some other grief in this amp so fixed that uh, low capacitor with a much bigger one wider spacing shouldn't arc again and uh, fixed it up up here even though it kinda looks a little <laughs> iffy and the um, plate choke head went but we kinda rewound it and put that tape over it just to let you know that it went but other than that, we fired it up, and uh, it does about what it's supposed to. I actually expected a little more out of it, but um, audio. One thing I found, the more you stay on it, the more it does. Right now, we got about 75 average going into it. That watt meter's on a 100-watt scale. That's what's going into it. That one's stingy, though reading about 50 but on a MFJ watt meter we're doing about 75 average about 150 peak going into it a lot of swing from that um, JB modulator going into this amp and uh, it's got an automatic key in circuit too no foot switch so we like that most uh, uh, bigger amps don't have that and it's got three stages uh, low and then you put it on high and you can go high one and high two so it's kind of like a low medium high for the most part and up here on the giant MFJ watt meter on uh, RMS or average with that low dead key she's swinging about 600 now if you let the, cools, the tubes cool off it'll be a bit less like 450 and then the warmer the tubes get the uh, more it does audio talking about 500 with the tubes heated up I need another hand gonna put it on peak right quick oh another thing we do like is that the fan um, it's a two-speed and it's low on um, standby and uh, when you key it up it jumps up to high but anyway, we're on average on peak there. Audio, 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 and that's about what she does. About eight nine hundred peak, about uh five six hundred average. Might do a little more with a fresh set of tools, but uh, that's gonna be it for my uh. 
KLV 1000P amplifier. Gotta unkey it to show you the fan. Takes a second. There it goes. Fan goes back to low speed when it's in standby. I kind of like that. I kind of like the way they got this uh, plate uh, PC board too. It's kind of like a wind tunnel for the tubes where it catches the uh, air and kind of forces it toward the tubes a little bit. Um, once I fixed it up with those grounds and all that and changed that um, um, load cap, it's a pretty good amp from the factory with all those ground problems though uh, uh, it's got issues until you fix it up alright RMI KLV 1000P amp bye